Welcome back to the NHL 23 World Championships. I'm Cameron Halbert. I'm so excited to drop the puck on the North American Console Finals. This weekend is the culmination of single elimination bracket play between 128 qualifying players for this weekend. Eight players are left, four will play today, and four will play again tomorrow. But only the winner of each semifinal today and tomorrow will advance to the North American Championship on May 20th in Washington, D.C. So if you lose a semifinal today, you are out. Your run is over. Grizz, my man, my partner in crime, how are you doing? You excited to get back to the NHL 23 World Championship? Oh, dude, it's the best tournament all year round. I cannot wait to get things started. So happy to be back. Happy to be alongside you as well. Joe Sexton representing his Detroit Red Wings for a second straight year. Now, he got here through the online open play and took down one of, if not the best NHL player over the last few years in regs. Uh, he is going to be going up against Junior Pens, the veteran of the NHL 23 World Championship. Now our second semi-final is between everyone's favorite robe-wearing New Jerseyan, my man Duncan Delhi. He is going to be taking on Sasha, representing the Florida Panthers, 18 years old from Canada. Let's take a look at a little bit more in-depth view at our first semi-final between Jose and Junior Pence. My name is Joseph Olmstead. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Troy, Michigan, and my gamer tag is JoseX10. Olsen off the draw. Wheeler, there's the far side post shot. Just a normal kid playing video games for fun. Sweeping his way to the Xbox One console championship. Oh, look at that. I'm feeling very, very confident. I beat the top dog in red. Great play there from Joseph. GG's. There's no one in my way now. And there it is. There's the confetti. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! I'm 26 years old. My gamer tag is Junior Pens. Scores! 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 I have a certain play style that a lot of people don't seem to like. Junior Pens belongs in an analytics department for an NHL team. Junior, I've got your book right here, the Chell Guide. Want to be the best? Got really close the first year. Definitely going to be a tough battle against Jose. Let's go. Whoever comes out of, on top is going to go deep in the tournament. We are all set with our first semifinal and our first game. It is going to be Jose taking on Junior Pens in our first semifinal. Hold on to your butts because we are underway. Junior Pens in his Pittsburgh Penguin uniforms. Jose in the Detroit Red Wings. Jose wants the perfect shot lined up to get a guaranteed goal, where on the other hand, Pens just wants chaos. And he loves those tip goals, he loves the turds, the pad shots, everything. Where on the other side, Jose likes to get those nice clean onesies. Here is Truculence activated. He's a shot on the far side post play, and Mario Lemieux is going to open up the scoring for Jose as he makes it one to nothing in game number one. It is now Pence breaks out to the neutral zone, rips one on, and just gets a shot through, but that one's blocked. Still has it in the back end. He scores, and Eric Daze comes up big, and he's going to tie things up for Junior Pence. And that's the advantage of Pence playing like Pence. He rips a shot that none of these other players are going to rip. He ends up getting the puck back down low and has a lane to the net, absorbs the bump that Joe's tried to get off and just sends that one home. And that's the thing for Joe's now. A bad goal you could argue has gone in. He would say it's an unskilled goal. You cannot let it rattle you if you're Joe's. But now it's Pens again in the defensive zone. Let's see if he can win this draw and send this one up ice. Jose has been electric since giving up that goal, and he's going to take the lead again. Nathan McKinnon rips one home off the faceoff, and it's 2-1. to one. Here's Junior Pens with it. Self Saucy will lose it, and he just cannot get anything going in terms of sustained pressure grids. Yeah, and here comes a 2 on Oh, shot score! Just like that, a turnover wreaks havoc on Pens. The 2 on O, oh, and Jose is going to take that one every time. And Meyer will play this one out, and Jose is going to take game number one of our first semifinal. 
as a great performance there. Game two of our first semifinal is ready to get going. It is Jose and Pens in our first elimination game of the day. If Jose wins this one, he's going to Washington. Here goes Mario with it. Sends that one across. Now to Dylan Strom. Back to Minchikov. Walks the line back to Strom. Shot on the scores. The far side wrister is going to give Junior Pens the lead in game number two by Junior Pens. Nylander. Back and forth he goes. Now he's into the zone. Has a step over to DeBrusque on the backhand. He scores. It is two to nothing for Junior Pence. Is Pence listening to the broadcast? The two things I said he had to do, he's done. Use the player advantage you have available. The speed of Nylander gets that one wide open. The 99, you see it on his back. Sends that one to Hedman. They give and go, and now Lemieux at the point. He's going to run out of room, and Junior Pence with a break in all alone. Manny Goalie, and he scores. Junior Pence is going to make it 3 to nothing, and Jose is down big early. Sends it across to Yager. Yager's got it, and he's crushed there by Dahlin. You're not going to see many players take down that Yarmir Yager carpet. Here's Pens. Walks in on the far side. He scores. It squeaks through, and Junior Pens is going to take a 4 to nothing lead. And there it is. Pens just going to work here in this game. You see that Joe's tried to cover that back end, and Pens said, don't mind if I do. If you're going to give me that shot in the slot, I will take it every time. Had a little bit of help off the iron, but now up four to nothing. And a fun fact about Pens, he's played NHL since he was five, going back to the Nintendo 64, and he gets another one. No, they're waving it off. Interference is very hit or miss this year. I actually want to see if this counts. As Pens literally just walks it into the net, and it will not. Yeah, no goal. There's a little bit of a uh, little bit of a heart attack there for Jose. It is still four nothing. Back to Sanderson. Junior Pence trying to hold him off, keep his four-goal lead. On the back end now to McDavid, he scores! Finally gets open, and Connor McDavid is gonna make it a three-goal game. He's got 640 to work with. We saw him, like, give the fist bump. All right, let's go, he's hyping himself up. Can he attack? And there he goes, he does, and makes it a two-goal game with six minutes to go in the second. And he is not going down without a fight. Hey. The kid is never out of it. He just is simply resilient. Still there. Knocked away. We're going to get a penalty, though, to Junior Pens. Curls back out in front. He scores. And just like that, he says he doesn't need the man advantage. And it is a one-goal game all of a sudden. A lead in a game doesn't matter if you can get that next goal and stop the bleeding. He was able to do that and rifle off three goals, now down by just one in the third. Jost does not want to go to a game three. It's all tied up right off the opening faceoff. It is now 4-4 as Jost ties things up. This kid is just unbelievable what he's been able to put together on this run. Here's Dobson now. Works it around the net. The far side is open, he scores, and Pens is now down by one. Jose has made it five to four. You know, we, we've seen this game get away from him, and maybe he's a little rattled, and you got to find a way to stop the bleeding here. As now, here's Pens looking to answer back. Here's Krug, fires one on, he scores, and he answers back finally. He stops the bleeding. Krug walks the line. The 98 team builder to Minchikov, a tip on, he scores! And there it is, Pens rifles a tip shot from the point, and he's got the lead once again. Oh my goodness, the lead changes in this game. Just speechless with how this has gone. That's going to be it, the final few seconds tick off, and Pens is going to force a game three after an incredible 6-5 win. We're all set, and here we go. Game three of our first semifinal, a trip to Washington on the line. It was these quick L2 movements and that far side shot that did Joe so well in game one and two. I think we're going to see more of it here in game three. Yager walks out for the point, he scores! And he's done it a number of times, makes no mistake. And Jose is leading one to nothing in game three. As Pens now has to answer back. It did not go well for him in game one when it started like this. Is a tip shot, and there it goes as Pens 
is going to cause havoc again. Rips one from the point. It's tipped home, and we're all tied up. As now Jost looks to get back in front, and that one's going to be stopped. Great chance there. Jost, definitely the more dangerous player so far. And there he goes. Ovechkin gets in tight on the spin move, and he retakes the lead. Back down to Tavares. Player switch to Strom. Puts pressure on. Back out and he scores! Jost waits for the pressure and executes that far side post play perfectly. And it is now 3-1. to one. And to be honest, there's really nothing in the defensive zone that Jost has given up. I think Penns has got to go back to the tip shots as we <laughs> get a little bit of frozen <laughs> play. We've got a would not be... It would not be no, an online not. event if it wasn't for a little bit of technical difficulties. Well, here we go. We've got some we've got some things to finish as we are going to go down to the 633 mark of the first period. And it is a two-goal lead for Jose. Benz has got a score. He's got six minutes in game time. Still has it. Goes wide on the forehand. Back out in front on the backhand. He's got till 6.33 in the first to get one more goal. Penz has really got about one, maybe two more rushes left. He's got to hold on to the puck, and he sends a pizza right in and scores. Jose makes it a two-goal game just like that as Couturier looks to end it, and that will do it. And Jose is going to win this game and the series. Just the way he scores, I mean, I just... I was I was legit losing my mind because of the the the, the game two goal five and six, but um, but yeah, honestly, just just getting a lead and then and then taking advantage of it. Jose will move on, representing his Detroit Red Wings, and then we've got a big one coming up: Duncan Delhi against Saw Show. So let's get to know our competitors uh, a little bit more in Duncan Delhi and Saw Show. I'm 22 years of age. My name is Ben Pasqua, also known as the Duncan Deli. Here's Duncan Deli scores! Back out front, he scores! The energy that you'll see at the event, it'll be something that you've never seen on stream before. And he scores! Drives it wide, back out front, he scores! <laughs> You're in a bathrobe right now in Florida where it's upwards to, I don't know, 85 outside. What's under the bathrobe? Uh, clothes. <laughs> I'm from Montreal, Quebec, and I'm 18 years old. I go by Saw Show. Hey! Saw Show gets on the board! He's going hey, to hey, look at that! I'm a guy who loves playing hockey. What describes me as a player is just being calm. To that hype right now. It's not a save right there. Oh, oh, five come to on. go, and that will be it! As Saw a little gun show. My uh, favorite sauce, the hot sauce. It's like it's a go-to for me. Spicy. <laughs> the videos kill me every time. Sorry, but uh, I think we're gonna hear from uh, from both players. We're gonna start uh, start first with Duncan Deli. There he is. The Duncan Deli. Can you hear me, my man? Yes, I can. All right. So you sound you sound very relaxed. We're not getting the the big animated Duncan Deli just yet. Are you saving it for game one? No, I'm saving it for game two after I win the first. <laughs> okay. I, all right. Absolutely love that answer. We got to move on to Sauce Show. Is is someone doing homework in the background? Yeah, that's my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a science project going on in the background, but you're about to play a big one against Duncan Deli. Now, he said he is going to win in two. How do you feel about that? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Here we go. It is game number one of our second semifinal. New Jersey's Duncan Deli taking on the Panthers' Sasho in game number one. And we're going to be following the Deli from his perspective. And we're underway early as he wins the draw and he's going to have first possession. He's locked up by Sasho. Going to lose that. 
As Duncan Daly looking for his first offensive zone possession, but it's Sasho off the poach check. Has it into the middle and a huge save there as Sasho gets the first chance in game number one. As he looks to rotate around, but a good stick from the Duncan Daly. He can't get it back. Here's Ovechkin, walks out of the backhand and he scores. That one is gonna go. And Sasho takes the one nothing lead. And sends that one over to Strom. Strom's got it, cuts in the middle, rebound attempt, and he scores! And there's Duncan Delly as he is just screaming into his camera. Back and forth he goes, a good defensive play at the blue line by Duncan Delly. Sends that one over, what a sauce, and Gretzky is gonna bury on the backhand, and we get absolutely no reaction on that. What a good stick, sends Delly out the other way. Here's Boyle, he lugs it in, holds it on the forehand. Back and forth he goes. The post play is there, sends it across, and Daze scores as he's able to just get rolling. It is now three to one as he doesn't like what he sees. And he turns it over. Here's Kopitar, and he can't get the shot away. As that one's going to go, buries that one. And it's now a 4 1 lead. His offensive break in, now McDavid with it. He gets it to Fowler, 2 on one rebound to McKinnon, and he scores! And just like that, it is 5-1. And he was, he's was he been hammering that far side pad play all game, and he is like a shark feasting on Tuna when he has the puck and drives towards the net. <laughs> so rebound scores, as he is not covering that one, as the Duncan Deli is just talking himself into it. He loves the rebounds, and he makes no mistake there. Ice get in now Cam, with do, it. What do we got for an overall on that Armia card? 96, I believe, and Cairo is gonna put that one in and make it a 6-2 game. Now with Connor McDavid in across the line, behind the net, waits for his opponent to open up, and McKinnon buries, and it's now a 7-2 game. Krub's gonna break it out. Krub's got it. And he's in all alone on the back end. He scores! Delhi's not able to stop it on the manual goalie save. And now it's a 7 3 game. Matthews with a nice spin move by Sasho. Still has the puck with Stahl on the back end. Nice goal there! And it's a 7 4 game all of a sudden. Hey. A five goal lead now down to just three sauces battling away. He's chipping away at it. Two seconds to go. Big hit there. And that'll do it as the Duncan Deli skates to a 7 4 game one victory. Here we go. It is game number two of our second semifinal Duncan Deli versus Saw Show. If Deli wins, he is joining Jose in DC. Matthews has it. Gonna puck chop that one deep, keeps possession, and now Strom out, and he's gonna be intercepted immediately. Sasho back into the offensive zone. He's been able to get in and have some chances, but he can't bury, he's a great passing play there! He's gonna bury on that one, and it's one to nothing. Tic Tac, Sasho able to get on the board first, takes advantage of Duncan not playing like Duncan. Earl's back into his own zone. He's got it, sends that to Heiskinen. Heiskinen over to Uwe Krupp. Intercepted though. A man he goal and he buries that one as Delhi is just screaming nonsense at the camera. <laughs> I think he threw a you can't do that to me in there and we saw it that was before in Florida. Yeah, it is definitely a you can't do that. 100%. <laughs> Fowler now on the breakout. He steps up and turns it over the blue line. McKinnon is in all alone, and he scores! McKinnon makes it two to one, and Sasho's got the lead. All right, turns it up, he's on the breakaway, all smiles. You see his roommate in the background saying something to him, he's laughing. Delhi to McDavid, McDavid, nice play. And here he goes out the doors, here he goes, Sasho. Streaking down the right side, across and he scores! Sends that into the middle, and it is two to one, as he has a little bit of a laugh with his roommate. Boyko plays it out to Edmonton to Daze. Daze now streaking down the right side on the backhand. Still has it. 
On the backhand, a shot on, he scores! And you can't do that as he held him off the entire way. And Delhi is locked in as he tries to tie things up here in the third yeah, period. Yeah. A three, two lead in the game two, trying to force a game three. Fowler now to McKinnon. Off to Rostrom, and he scores! Goes far side, and it is three to two. Three to three. He knows, what am I saying? He knows there's more work to be done. He erases that. Stops that one into the zone, and he really can't get by the blue line defense of Duncan Delhi right now. Gretzky with it, cuts it in the rebound, and he scores! And Delhi is going to take the 4 3 lead. And I never know what reaction you're going to get from Duncan Delhi. Sasha's got 45 seconds left to Couturier, to McDavid, and the back end doesn't go. A great opportunity there. 10 seconds remaining in game three. He curls back around. Says he wants to go for one more skate, and that'll do it as Duncan Delhi is going to move on to the finals. How do you feel after winning this and booking your ticket to D.C.? Oh, I mean, I feel fantastic. I could have never imagined three years ago that I'd be where I am right now. But this year, with how good I am and how much I've learned and practiced, I expected to make it this far. Jose representing the Detroit Red Wings and Duncan Deli of the New Jersey Devils will be representing their squads. Now, tomorrow, we will find out the last two members that will join Jose and the Duncan Deli in Washington. It will be Focus against Cad Cooks and then Boily against Sky is taken. That is some those are some great matchups. Oh man, dude, we are going to see some skill on display and these guys play lightning fast. I think we're going to see some end-to-end -to -end action tomorrow, much like we saw here today. Welcome back to day 2 of the North American Console Finals. Our first matchup will be between Focus TF representing the Arizona Coyotes. He's going to be going up against Cad Cooks and I refuse to call him Cad Cooks during this. Yeah. I have known him since it's just he Cad. was I think 17 years old coming up in the community. It is Cad. <laughs> All right. We are going to call him Cad representing the Chicago Blackhawks. The second semifinal is personally my favorite to watch and the most interesting one, Boily and Sky is taken are among the two best players that we have in the game. It is time to properly meet our first two competitors. Let's take a look at Cad, Cooks, and Focus. My name is Samuel Landry. I'm 21 years old and my gamer tag is Cad Cooks. I actually don't have a celebration. Let's go! I try and stay super calm. I don't cook in real life, but I do cook on NHL on right wing. <laughs> we leave our guts. To all my doubters, I hope you have fun watching my games on your couch. <laughs> my name is Christian. I am 22 years old. And my gamer tag is Focus TF. Didn't expect it to make this far. I think a lot of people didn't expect me to either. Being one of the only players to favor the defensive side definitely will give me an advantage, especially against someone like Cad, who has a fast-paced offense. To the doubters, I'm sitting here, and you're not. Simple as that. Again! <laughs> All right, there is a there is a couple thing. There was a very very similar tone to, to both of those. You're sitting here and I'm not. So I mean, like that was you know, it's good for them to to prove the the haters. I think that uh, you definitely mentioned Cad going into this probably the favorite, but Focus was able to survive, and I think that's kind of a theme yep. in NHL 23. You've got to be able to beat oh, your absolutely. opponent, obviously, in a single elimination best of three, but you've got to survive. So there is something to that. Semi-final number one, game number one of today. It's Focus and Cad, and we are underway in the first period. We've got Focus in the Arizona Coyotes Oranges. Those are some great unis going up against Cad in the Whites. Here's McKinnon. Focus has got it with Connor McDavid. Just moving on to the second round. I apologize, Carlin. As here comes Cad down low near the goal line, bumped off the puck. Focus again here, making sure that he doesn't overcommit, but Cat walks right in, and it's the backhand forehand with Dobson, and it's 1-0. 
You, you mentioned it, Cam. The half spins, he's so good at that. But it's not just, just the half spins. The way he's able to protect the puck and allow Focus to commit out of position. And he just drives it in towards the net. A little short side cheese there. one nothing Cad early. And now Eichel on the breakout. Dre lines in, has a shot. No pass in the middle there. Thought we'd see one. That one's going to be thrown into a mass of bodies. Doesn't make it through the net. Five seconds remaining in the first. A shot attempt there. One more from Michael, and he scores. 2.2 .2 remaining, and that's a huge goal for Cad. Here's Dobson on opening the second period. He's got a goal for Cad already. The 99 overall fantasy card. As he walks out and fires, that one's going to go. As McDavid with close quarters just throws it in. And it's all Cad early in game number one. Larkin out the other way. He's crushed along the board. Sanderson's going to bring it back in. And Lindholm doing his best to try and keep everyone off the puck. But there's the quick wrap. And Sanderson is going to make it 4 to nothing. Cad is cooking. It's 4 nothing. And man, Folk is still searching for answers. Now McKinnon weaving in and out. Still has it to McDavid on the back end. And that one's going to be... Knocked aside. McKinnon now behind the net. Focus. I think some offensive zone time across to McDavid, and he makes it four to one. As McDavid will hammer that one home. Cad, good player switch. And again, he's just taking away that behind the net ability. And Focus having a heck of a time trying to answer for it. Now Medano wraps it around. He scores with 5.6 to go. Maybe a bit of a morale boost going into game two, but it's four to two. Yeah, I won't do anything for this game. Just not enough time left. But again, that belief that you can start to score and get those goals against a player like Cad. Cad, one game away from booking his ticket to DC. Will focus, answer back, and force a game three. We're about to find out. Here we go. It is game number two. Good poach check, though, with the red line. Now Yossi's back in. Here's Yossi. Focus has it with McKinnon. McKinnon to McDavid. It slides into the crease. Markstrom's going to play it out. You can't do that. As that one is going to be dunked home. And Focus takes a 1-0 lead. And Focus has officially gained admission to the Duncan University. Now across the line. 30 seconds remaining in the power play. Couturier's got it now down behind the net. On the forehand now. Back spins around. He scores. What a play there. And McKinnon's going to hammer home the one-timer. And there is McKinnon tying this game up for Cad as he just found his man at the back door. Used the power play to his advantage. And now Cad out the other way. Cad to Yager. Yager straight line into the zone. The 95 team builder. He went for the short side. Rap doesn't get it. But Yager picks up the puck back across and he scores. Sends that one over and Nathan McKinnon is going to make it 2-1. to one. Focus did a good job weathering the storm early on in this period, but finally able to break through as you see the stick facing the wrong way facing outside instead of inside there for focus a 3-1 game for cat as he is able to get the next one but here comes focus working his way up ice with lemieux gotta act fast here turn that one over cat as we've got a goal right here as cat is gonna take it home All right, so uh, crazy finish there, but Cad was <laughs> able to get things done in game number two, Grizz. Um, you know, what did you see and, and what happened? His focus was playing much better in the beginning of that game two. Well, the wheels just kind of fell off the wagon and focus did a good job early on, again, keeping Cad to the outside. But then Cad kept doing what Cad does, those half spins, worked his way inside, got that cross crease pass. And that's kind of all she wrote. He attacked quick and got those back-to-back -back goals to end the game, and he'll be moving on. Who would you rather play if you had to play one of Jose or Duncan Deli? Probably Duncan, because I think Jose is better. <laughs> All right, that's know. what I wanted to hear. I wanted Let's to go. see some. Okay. Now we got to hope for a Duncan and, and, and Cat right. game. See, that's Because you know Duncan's going to run with it. And on the docket, our final semi-final is Boily against Sky is taken. Let's take a look at uh, our player portraits for Boily and Sky is taken. Boily, the underdog, taking on the reigning North American champion, Rex. Uh, I know I'm good offensively. What a goal for Boily, and Boily's going to answer right back. Looking for another one, Boily. Boily, what a goal. Nasty goal there from Boily. Behind the net, and he has it, Boily. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'm 
my job is not done. Yeah. My name is Nick Ilyevsky. I'm 20 years old. My gamer tag is Sky is Taken. I feel like everybody that I played is really good. I feel really good beating some of those top players. My next opponent, Boilies! his strength is definitely his offense, just like mine. Our play styles are pretty similar. Bang! <laughs> We are just about set for our final semi-final. We are going to jump right into it. It is Sky is taking, taking on Boily in our final semi-final of the tournament. Behind the net, Yager comes away with it. No room, avoids the poke check. Now down, down behind the net. As he waits with that puck, waiting for pressure. Boily doesn't give it, but Couturier is going to hammer it home regardless. And it is a 1-0 game. And there it is, setting up a shot behind the net, forcing that one out in front. Sky takes the first lead of this game one. It's now Boily. Boily into the zone. Still has it to Uwe Krupp. Now back to Dahlin. Dahlin walks into the slot. Still has it. He fires that one far side. And it is now 1-1. One one. Sweeps that one up ice. It's Yager is drilled before he got to the line. Great step by Boily, not working with McKinnon. Passes that one across. Boily into the offensive zone. Goes in behind the net. Shot score! There it is. Boily takes the lead. Nathan McKinnon gets on the board. On the breakout. Back and forth to Yager. Yager, this guy's running out of time. A shot there. I think he was looking for the rebound. And it kicks up a little high. Boily now to Holy. Sends that one to McKinnon. McKinnon one-on-one. -on -one. He spins back to McDavid. Back and forth. What a goal. Are you kidding me? Oh, man, these kids are disgusting. That was just gross. And he's staring down the camera. He knows it. He absolutely knows it. Oh, man. Great move by Boyle there. He does get that next goal. Pivotal goal for him to try to ice this game. Now leading 3-1, 524 left. As he starts to turn on the pressure, but he's running out of time. Now Boyle with it. Sending it to McDavid, and that should do it. As it is now 4-1. to one. And Boyle running away with game number one. And just nothing open for Sky, as that one's gonna go down the length of the ice. And it'll be one game away for Boyle, as he takes game number one by a score of four to one. And we are gonna find out right now, as Boyle one game away. Sky, if he wins, will force a game three. And here we go. Over to Matthews. Breaks the puck up to power. As Couturier now with it for Boyley. Boyley now into the middle. Pasternak, here's Couturier. Back and forth in a pretty passing play. Oh. As he is just yelling at the camera. Boyley always brings it. He's a very, very emotional player. And you see that right there. He knows that is a huge goal with what's on the line tonight. This guy has been great in and around his own net. He's defended that far better than a lot of the other players we've seen so far. However, it's offensively that Boyle is just defending almost perfectly. Maybe a 2 on one but he forces him back to the boards. Pasternak to Yager. Yager now on the forehand. Back and forth. Out in front, he scores! And Couturier is going to make it 2 to nothing. So here we go as Boyle really hammering away with possession. As Sky still searching for answers, Boyle able to go up to nothing. So an opportunity presents itself for Sky to get himself back in this game. We just haven't seen what we know he's capable of yet here in game two. Oh, absolutely. As now he tries to send that one through. Here's Larson. He's going to activate from the back out in front to McDavid. And it's a two to one game. Boom. Off the rush in front of the net. That's what we're talking about. Way to get on the board. Doesn't need to go behind the net. It's the wide open man back door, and he is very much so back in this game. As now Shen with it. Shen's got it across the line to Lemieux. Lemieux now holds it wide, fires it on, and that one's gonna go! Oh my goodness, that handcuffs his goaltender, and it's 2-2. Uh-oh, we got drama here. In and just like that, Sky able to tie this game up in the blink of an eye. What in the world was that? Turned over Matthews. Sends that one to Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl's into the zone. Still has the puck. 
Now to Matthews, back out in front. Thompson's gonna bury that one, and Sky has the lead. All right, so what you're seeing here is a transition of how he's playing his game offensively. He is not trying to use the boards. He's not going down low. He is simply starting at the point of attack and going towards the net in transition with speed, hitting those cross creases. Boyle's been unable to defend it as Crosby, another good chance. And there's another one as Sky is now cooking. It is four to two. What is happening? A completely different player. We said we knew what he was capable of. We haven't seen it yet. Moments after I said that, he flipped the switch and Sky is back. I think this period has gone exactly how Sky wants. Nothing crazy in terms of high danger chances and just running up the clock. Can't get through cleanly. Sends that one over to Yager. Over to Meyer. Meyer's got it. Maybe a chance here and he gets it. Holds it off long enough and Lemieux will score to make it four to three. And every time we point something out, the opposite happens. No dangerous chances immediately after that. Foyley gets on the board and it's four to three and here he comes again. This next five to 10 seconds is gonna be important as this guy's gotta make sure he gets away with it here. Again, nerves are probably gonna be at an all time high. He needs to win this game and he leads by one with only seven minutes to go. Across the line, it's Rantanen. Cuts into the middle, and that one's going to be stopped. Great opportunity there. Back and forth he goes. Tavares with it. Sends it back to Rantanen, and he scores, and he ties it up. And just <laughs> yells at us as he gets that oh, one man. to tie up the game at four. That was a big break there for Boyley. Now McCarr behind the net on the breakout. Sky picks it up off the turnover. He scores. Lemieux is going to make it 5-4. to four. All right, all right, all right. He doesn't do it off that initial rush, but off the faceoff, able to set that one up, digs that out of the corner. Into the zone now. Gets it down. Boyle looking to wrap it immediately, and that one doesn't go. 25 seconds remaining. Over to Pasternak to Dahlin. Darlene's got it. McKinnon now back into his offensive zone zone, but Boyley's gonna get there first. 13 seconds remaining. Can Boyley tie it up? One more shot. The spin move to Pasternak. Back over to huge save. Five seconds remaining. And that'll do it for game number two. As Sky with some crazy nonsense at the end of that period but he holds on what and we have got our first game save. three of the day man I, boy yeah, looked was, like he was going to tie that up what a game uh, game three's underway all right boy versus sky here we go game three a shot at washington on the line who is it gonna be and here we go sky's gonna start with the puck off the draw over to nurse he looks to Fire that one through, he does. Thompson quick passing to Matthews. Matthews now with it. Sends it down to Thompson. Back out to Dreisaitl and a great play there from Sky. And he is gonna take a one nothing lead. Again, it, he's doing it a different way. He's not really relying on possession. He's just getting into the zone and throwing that one across. And Boyley has not had an answer for these cross creases. Over to Kopitar. Kopitar with it. Waits for pressure, still has it. Back out in front, Lemieux is gonna bury that one. It is two, nothing. Oh, nice crafty move, using the thumbs to his advantage there to open up that passing lane across. By Boily, Pasternak now. It's across the line. Yager now back out to Pasternak and he can't get it to go. Boily looking for something, now trailing by two. Is now a spin move out in front, and there it is! Boyle is gonna get on the board as a great spin move in the corner. Makes it a two to one game. Now Darlene rifles that one at the net. Jen's got it, can't get it through. Back out to McDavid and he scores! And it is all tied up in two. Man, this series, we knew we were, we were gonna get something special with this series. It's definitely delivered. A 2-2 game.
Darlene with it off the face off. Back and Brandy scores! Boyley makes it 3-2 to two and terrifies the audience. <laughs> oh, man, I love that. He is such an emotional player. Every year we see uh, that out of him. He knows what that goal means. But now you still got to play defense because Sky has looked good offensively as well. 7-10 to go. Here we go. 41 seconds to go. Sky down by one. Off the draw. McKinnon, he scores! He gets that one to go. Executed perfectly. And it's 3-3. Three to three. There we go. The face-off play pays off. And it's not the first time we've seen that out of Sky either. And there it is. Nathan McKinnon off the draw. Let it rip. And we are tied with 39 seconds to go in the third. What a finish here. Will we get to overtime? And Boyley off the turnover, walks in. McDavid with it, 30 seconds to go. Sky sends it over to McKinnon. Trying to end it before overtime. Yager now into the corner with pressure there. Sky rotates around to McKinnon. Pressured. Yager picks it up. 15 seconds to go. Nurse walks in, still has the puck. Back to Yager and he can't score. He misses the net. McKinnon with it over to Couturier. Six seconds remaining. Now to Yager. Still has the puck. Curls back in front. Shut up with point five to go. And Sky is going to take the lead in the series. Oh, no. You felt like it was... Oh my goodness, what a play, what a possession by Sky. And again, McKinnon on that post play that we've seen him try to do tonight. That With was incredible. Five seconds remaining. Sky is taken, is able to get one, avoids overtime, and he comes back in the final minutes. Unbelievable poise to book his ticket to DC. What a finish there, Grizz. How did that final minute feel to finally win that one? I can't, I cannot believe my Yager missed the wide open net and then I had the rebound too and I hit the post and then I just went behind the net and saw, I don't even know who it was and I don't even, I don't even know how much time was on the clock left. So I just, I don't know. His defense has gotten so much better since the last time we played, so it was, He's, he's the hardest opponent I've ever played all year. So We have our four finalists that are going to play out for the North American Console Finals. It is CAD and Sky is taken. They booked their ticket to Washington, joining Duncan, Deli, and Jose. Thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.